everybody, hope you are well. Um, today's video is a little bit different to other videos that I've done of late. Um, it's not necessarily a product review video, but what it is is a video to give you a little bit more of an insight into the sorts of shorts that I have on rotation. Uh, why I bought them, how I use them, which shorts I use more than others. It may just be interesting and it may be something that helps to support your purchases. Of course, these things are just personal preference to me. So please don't feel obligated to go out and suddenly buy the things that I'm recommending because I'm going to show you sort of an evolution of the different shorts I've had and you'll see why I have kind of fell in and out of love with certain shorts. So let's kick off with the Ron Hill Infinity Shorts. These were the first pair of running shorts, I guess, that I, I bought properly. Um, I use them for certainly my first marathon, possibly my second as well. I'll tell you the, the, the pros and the cons in just a second. So really comfortable pair of shorts, really like them. Kind of got that twin skin um, going on as well with this separate material for the twin skin. Some of them it's kind of linked together, but these are completely separate. So you've got the kind of that uh, tight lycra material. Now inside the pocket you have got an internal pocket, looks like this, where you can house what I used to do, mobile phone, keys, things like that. The only problem is it sits against your legs. So if you were to put gels in there, the gels do get warm and gels that are warm are not always the most desirable. So the reason why I stopped using these shorts is because I was trying to carry more gels on me and at the time I was using just handheld water bottles um, with the clutch compartment. So I was able to hold my gels um, in, the, in the zip but uh, just over time, I don't know, I just stopped wearing them. It wasn't something that I enjoyed uh, day in, day out. So uh, these are still a great pair of shorts. I would recommend them to anybody, but they are quite expensive. Uh, back pocket zipped there. I think it's a little bit tight because I did used to use this quite a lot. But when you do put things in the back pocket, you do feel them jump up and down. Equally, these two kind of front pouches, you can put things in them, but they're not the most taut. So it does mean that they do tend to jump about also. But the Ron Hill Infinity Short is the short that I start off my running journey with. Uh, maybe I'll return to them at some point, but right now uh, they're not on my uh, immediate rotation. A second pair of shorts I purchased, which turned out to be my favourite pair of shorts probably ever uh, that I've worn, are these here. They're Salomon Trail Runners. You can see they are beaten up. They're ripped. Um, it's got a 360 band here and they are just completely annihilated. Um, I did try and buy a new pair of these recently and when the pair turned up, even though they were the right size, uh, well supposed to be the right size, they just felt completely different. These are super, super lightweight. They're called Salomon Trail Runner. They are just phenomenal. I absolutely love them. Uh, I actually wear them more frequently than I ever used to wear them just because they're so light. But because they're broken, I can't use them for running uh, because these compartments just don't do the job they're supposed to do. But a superb pair of shorts. And if you're able to find them cheap, I would go for them. It's just because of my size, I think. You can get them in other sizes um, quite easily, but the, the size I need um, wasn't, wasn't possible to. So. This is the Salomon Trail Runner short. I love them and I wear them regularly. The next pair of shorts that I bought, and by the way, uh, all the shorts that I'm showing you today, with the exception of the, the newest pair of shorts I've got, I buy them all uh, secondhand, eBay. Often I find, especially with running gear, people buy the wrong sizes. Uh, shoes are a good example. People buy the wrong size, wear them, well, either around the house or for one short run, and then all of a sudden the price is slashed by half sometimes. So uh, please don't feel or um, assume that I'm spending hundreds of pounds. I'm not the kind of person, I don't review things like that. I don't have a big uh, wallet full of cash. I'm just splashing on shoes just to do reviews. It's not like that. I thought it just might be quite insightful for you. So this pair of shorts here, I've actually forgotten the name of these shorts now, uh, but it's not even in there. Salomon, not sure. Oh, there you go, Salomon S Lab shorts. Um, twin skin, this kind of compression element here, this honeycomb design. Um, again, a 360 style band. This is actually a pair of shorts that I've been using more often uh, than I ever intended to. Uh, I say intended to because when I first bought them, I didn't really get on with them. I don't know why it didn't quite feel right to me. And it might be because the equipment I was using at the time, what I was carrying, it just didn't feel like I was utilizing the shorts properly. Whereas now when I do my long runs, I can put gels all around if I want to. It's got plenty of ample space in there to put other things as well. And these compartments are, um, some of them are sewn together and some of them are through compartments. So you actually have more space than you realize. Um, this is a pair of shorts I most likely be wearing for my ultra as well because I've been using them all my long runs. So I absolutely love this pair of shorts. Um, again, got them off eBay. I think they're about four pounds, total bargain. Um, 
and yeah, I think that's also part of the reason why I, I see shorts cheap, I buy them, I try them a couple of times, I never necessarily feel perfect at the time and I don't put them in my immediate rotation. Then I return to them again when I have a purpose for them, like my Ultra, and then I find that actually I've got a little gem sitting there that I haven't used um, in the way I should have done. But nevertheless, I found it now. And uh, yeah, these shorts are just super, super. Next pair of shorts, I won these shorts in a race by completing the distance first. These are Lululemon shorts. They are mega, mega expensive. I would not recommend you going out and buying them um, brand new from the shop because they're going to set you back. I think these were £65. These are called Pace Breaker shorts. I used to wear these quite a lot actually. Uh, the only thing that was troubling me is this particular material is a little bit, a little bit rough and uh, sometimes I found that this part here was rubbing, especially in hot conditions. You know, your legs get a little bit salty and sweaty. It's kind of rubbing. I found it a bit frustrating. But a pretty good pair of shorts, internal pocket again, similar to Ron Hill Infinity shorts. Uh, zip compartment at the back here. Overall good pair of shorts, but I think they're more for kind of training, yoga, that kind of stuff, rather than running. I've used them on a few runs. There is a picture somewhere on my Instagram, and uh, as, I, as I'm running my phone, which in my pocket is kind of lifted up, and it's put itself in an interesting situation. And yes, it is only my phone in the pocket there. So... Pretty good pair of shorts. I won them, otherwise I wouldn't have actually bought them, but I did use them quite a lot. Uh, this is the newer iteration of the Patagonia Strider type shorts. Uh, this is the Patagonia Nine Trails. Awesome pair of shorts, really like them. Loads of deep pockets, two at the front, one at the back, and yeah, just I can't really fault the, fault the, fault, I can't, bleh, I can't really fault these at all. Um, just all around pretty decent pair of shorts, never had any issues with it. You can pull them nice and tight and you can load the pockets up and they are truly, truly reliable. So um, a pair of shorts worth considering. Like I say, the Strider Pro, which you would have heard a lot of people talk about, Ginger Runner and that kind. Um, I, I can't get hold of them. I wouldn't want to pay the full price for the Strider Pros. But these uh, Nine Trails are kind of an equivalent. So if you find the Nine Trails, check them out. Now, uh, I just bought a pair of shorts brand new. You know, I mentioned before the Salomon Trail Runners, I could not find a replacement for them. Um, and I stumbled across these. These are a pair of Salomon XA twin skin shorts. Now they look very, very similar to me to the Trail Runner. What I like about them is the compartments again are separated, but it's through. Uh, you've got the 360 setup on them and you've got the addition of a zip at the back which i really really like they feel mega lightweight really really comfortable uh, i've only worn them around the house i've not worn them on the run because i only got them in the last 48 hours but i think these are probably the newer version of the trail runner i picked these up online for 20 pounds uh, which I thought was a really, really good deal. Obviously, you've seen the number of shorts I've got and you're probably questioning why do you need them? Well, the reason why is because those trail runners are such great shorts, I wanted to find a replacement for them because I like to use uh, shorts day to day, especially in the summer at the moment. So I wanted a pair of shorts just like this, which I could wear out and about that weren't necessarily just for running, uh, but will be multi-purpose. So this pair of shorts, I'm sure is going to feature quite heavily in my rotation moving forward. Um, and in summary, you know, all of these shorts bring something to the table. I think it's important to look at what you need from the shorts. So if you want to make sure you've got a pair of shorts that have got you know, multiple zips or deep pockets or internal pockets or the twin skin functionality or compression uh, built element, you just need to do some research because often I found in independent running shops, especially, you do not have the range of shorts there. You tend to get the big brands, but they're just kind of the standard like split shorts. And for me, I prefer to have a short that can offer something for just day to day running, trail running, above and beyond with the running. Um, you kind of can use casual shorts, I suppose, as well. And uh, yeah, it's just something that you need to really just dive a little bit deeper, sit down with all your um, running gear that you want to take with you. Sit down with your gel, sit down with your water bottle and kind of figure out, okay, if I'm going to be taking all this on a run, do I want my hands free? If so, I need more pockets. If not, then that's fine. I can take a short, which is lighter, less pockets, but I'll be holding it in my hand. All things to consider. Um, 
like I said, I hope you found this video of some value. I thought I'd just put it together. It's just something quick, something simple. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you've got a pair of shorts that you think are absolutely awesome that I don't even know about. Or maybe you've got a pair of shorts that I held up today and you can just share your kind of insight as well. Like I said, everything's personal preference. So please don't walk away from this video and think, great, I need to go and buy all the things I just mentioned. Don't, don't do that. Uh, unless you think, wow, that might really suit my needs. So, like I say, hopefully you take something away from this video and I will catch up with you soon with another video, probably me running. Thank you so much. Take care. Stay safe. See you soon.